Hello again. So in this section of the video, we are going to talk about international options that are available to fund uh, sustainable transport in our cities. Some of the common international sources for funding sustainable transport are the Global Environmental Facility or the GEF. There is financing available from various entities through the climate financing uh, mechanism. And then there is also loans uh, from uh, development banks such as World Bank, Asian Development Bank, uh, the Inter-American Inter Development Bank, uh, the Development Bank for Latin America, CAF, or the African Development Bank. And there is also bilateral funding from uh, country cooperation, uh, development cooperation agencies such as GIZ uh, for Germany, there is JICA for Japan, there is COICA for Korea, or there is uh, USAID for America, etc. The GEF funding or the Global Environmental Facility funding is uh, in the current cycle, it's a total of 4.4 billion US dollars and of which 102 million US dollars is assigned to transportation. Uh, and it is the GEF 7 replenishment cycle and in this cycle, it was the first time that electric mobility is a focus. And uh, the previous GEF cycles have focused on other aspects of sustainable transport, like promoting sustainable uh, public transportation systems, etc. But for the first time, there is a global uh, focus on uh, electric vehicles. And uh, the, the GEF funding also focuses on introducing e-mobility to uh, low and middle income countries. Uh, our colleagues from the United uh, Nations Environmental Program or UN Environment uh, have more information on implementing uh, GEF uh, funding. And you will find a video um, in this section of this course giving a clear example on how GEF funding can be used to fund uh, electric mobility uh, in your countries. And coming to climate financing, climate financing, as I was mentioning earlier, it is a mechanism that supports mitigation activities and funds mitigation activities, uh, and prom which promote, uh, in other words, low carbon mobility and low carbon uh, transport in countries and cities. A very famous uh, climate financing mechanism uh, in emerging economies is the German International Cooperation, uh, International Climate Initiative, sorry, and uh, ICI in short uh, funds uh, mitigation and adaptation measures in various uh, emerging economies. And also there is the NAMA facility, which supports countries in developing uh, nationally appropriate mitigation actions. And uh, the Asian Development Bank has a clean uh, energy fund and the climate change fund, which also support uh, transport, uh, low carbon transport options. And as of whole, there is, uh, there is, international financing available for, for mitigating the emissions from the transportation sector. But as I was mentioning in the very beginning of this uh, course lecture, the international uh, resources that are available are very small and uh, the development assistance can only cover a part of the total cost and they require contributions from the countries where it's being implemented. And this is actually good because uh, countries have to look into uh, internal mechanisms of sustaining uh, the transport projects which are going to stay for a, for a longer term. And in conclusion, what we can see is from all these three parts of uh, discussions that we are uh, the course that we have seen so far, there are options available at the local stage, uh, at the local level, at the subnational level, and at the national level, and also from an international level. But it's always prudent to look uh, into the local context first, and a uh, good idea to uh, as as a, as an idea to trans uh, finance 
uh, transportation systems. And in general, there should be a cross subsidy from motor vehicles financing the sustainable transport modes. And a long term plan and strategy is crucial for sustainable mobility uh, implementation because as we were discussing earlier there might there might be uh, initial funding available from say a national government or from an international source but to sustain the project on a longer term there needs to be a sustainable source of revenue and this has to be uh, strategized in a long term plan and uh, motorists uh, or personal automobile users need to pay the true cost of travel because there is a lot of indirect costs that are being borne by people who don't own or use automobiles. And uh, political will uh, is, is essential for uh, financing sustainable transport because uh, strong political will can accelerate uh, the, the implementation of sustainable transport and also sustain the project on whole. Uh, we can see, we have seen the example of congestion uh, pricing scheme in London, though initially criticized heavily, a strong political will has, uh, has uh, endured and the congestion pricing scheme still remains and is reducing the vehicular volumes uh, in the central part of London. And shifting, sustain, uh, shifting the subsidies, we have seen subsidies being given to uh, fuel uh, in, in many countries. So shifting these fuel subsidies from fuel to other uh, sustainable transport modes, which act, will actually benefit the people who uh, the subsidies are meant for and not subsidize uh, the rich who own multiple uh, automobiles. And climate financing uh, is essentially a small share and uh, can be considered as a, a kickoff uh, financing for projects. But on a longer term, we will need to think about uh, sustainable revenue sources for continuing the sustainable transport projects. And ultimately, if there is opportunity, businesses will definitely appear. And uh, so enabling frameworks are essential to create public-private partnerships, like, for example, in the land value capture mechanism where we have seen there is a strong role that uh, private uh, real estate developers can play in, in increasing the land value and making um, developments happen that can be used for uh, financing uh, public transport projects and other sustainable transport projects. That's all from, uh, from me in this video and thank you very much for the patience and for going through this section of the course. Bye bye.